Yeah, I was going to talk about the CDL temporary permit real quick. Uh, first of all, if you're taking one of our 600 hour courses, you have the 600 hour option one, you have the 600 hour option two. Um, we assist you with the temporary permit while you're here in school. We spend a number of hours with you, teaching it to you, and then you go up to the local license bureau uh, together, and then you take the temporary kind of as, as a group. But if you're coming from either another state and you want to do the temporary permit in your own state, that's perfectly fine too. A lot of people choose that method instead. But keep in mind, if you're doing one of our 600 hour courses, that's pretty much an option for you if you want to take advantage of it. For all other courses and for the 600 uh, courses, if you decide to do this on your own, is, well, first of all, in the other courses, you need to do it on your own. It's not part of the option. So if you're not taking one of our 600 hour courses, such as our 200 hour course, you must get your temporary permit on your own. What you need to do is you need to get a CDL book at your local license bureau. It's free. If you come in here for an appointment, typically we have books that we can give you as well. Good places to go is the Ohio BMV website. They have some really good sample mock tests for you to help you study. Another really good one is ChristCDL.com. That's C-R-I-S-T-C-D-L.com. Also, our website has some good mock tests. But to be frank, I think the Ohio BMV um, um, mock questions that they have, as well as Chris CDL, are better than ours. Um, so check out those websites. The CDL book you get from either us or the License Bureau, it has all the sections in there that you need to study. If you're doing our Class A course, General Knowledge, Air Brakes, and Combination Vehicle are the bare bone minimum endorsements in, that you need uh, in order to obtain a, a, a Class A CDL temporary permit. Again, that's General Knowledge, Air Brakes, and Combination Vehicle. Now, there are other endorsements such as Tanker, Doubles and Triples, in hazardous material. We recommend that you get them all. The more endorsements you have, the better for you, the more options you're gonna have, and the more money you're gonna make. Hazmat especially, there's so many things, such as Windex, hairspray, pine saw, uh, whiteout. There's so many things that are considered hazardous material, and tons of employers out there will pay you a couple dollars more per hour. They'll pay you four cents more per mile. You will make more money if you get the hazmat endorsement. Now, that involves getting fingerprinted, it involves uh, taking obviously the test on it. You can talk to your admissions rep on that. Um, or you can go to the uh, uh, Bureau of Motor Vehicle websites and it'll explain everything you need to do regarding the hazmat fingerprinting if you choose. If you're doing class B training or you're adding passenger bus training onto your course, then you also wanna get the passenger endorsement. So you wanna study the passenger section as well. Our 600 hour option two course includes passenger in it. So that means you can also drive buses. So it's up to you how far you wanna go along with this. The more endorsements you get, the better for you. But at minimum for the class A course is general knowledge, air brakes and combination vehicle. Once you feel you're ready to pass these tests, you go to your nearest license bureau exam center. So it needs to be an exam center, such as one of those places you took your driving test when you were a kid. And then you walk in and say, I wanna get my CDL temporary permit. And they'll start giving you those tests one by one. You need to pass general knowledge before they'll allow you to move on to the next test. So really keep that in mind. So you really wanna focus on general knowledge and then you can move on from there. You do not have to take all the tests the same day. You could take one or two tests one day, one or two tests a couple days later. Once you pass all the endorsements that you want, then you tell them, I'm done, I'm good, I don't need any more, and they'll charge you about 27 bucks for the temporary permit. That's what it is now, but it seems like that price goes up a dollar or so every single year. And then once they give you your temporary permit, they'll take your picture, they'll give you a permit, and it's good for six months at that point. So you have six months to turn everything into a CDL, which is obviously what we're doing for you here. The other thing is, um, you can take your time on those tests, they're untimed tests, and when you come across a question that you're stumped on, you can skip questions. It's just you don't want to skip too many or it'll bring you back to the first one you skipped and make you answer it the next time around. So use your skips wisely. If you have any questions, give us a call. Talk to your admissions rep. He'll fill you in on everything. But keep in mind those websites I mentioned earlier, which is really good for, uh, to practice mock tests, as well as picking up the CDL book from the License Bureau. 
when you first start to look this information over it may look a little foreign to you but after a few hours you'll be just fine uh, you study those mock tests and those websites that I had mentioned the CDL book you get at the License Bureau and then you put a few hours in and like I said everything will, will start smoothing out for you and you'll be fine plus like I mentioned before you know you can show up at the Lice Bureau and just concentrate on just doing one test and then go home and study another section and a couple days later return and do another test so you can do it in that manner if you wish as well if you feel that helps you so I wish you the best if you have any questions please give us a call thank you very much